What's up, guys? All right, so, you know, I've been spending quite a lot of time to doing some keyword research and found some really great techniques that I'm not seeing anywhere. Like I Googled everywhere. Nobody else is doing this. At least nobody else is, you know, showing it in the net that they're doing it. One second. Hello? Hello? Yeah, but you see somebody is asking for the bombers uh, in this area, what they want to ask you? Uh, say that again? Trunks were sent the white flags. You, you see somebody at the, at the white flag? Asking somebody for the bombers? No, I'm still trying to like, like make it. For some reason, it's not it's not catching traction. But I'm optimizing it right now. I found like you know what was the problem, so fixing it, and you know you should be getting more calls from this area then. But overall, it's it's a lot easier to be honest. It's a lot easier to get calls from Brooklyn. But uh, for now, we'll turn that off and um, you know keep it for Bronx. Got it, got it. All right. I, 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 I am, 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 I am
it's really easy to sell. Fifty-eight dollars. I think I could sell it for around seventy. Sixty-five, seventy dollars per call. Once my call ratio gets better, right? Right now, I don't want to, you know, wrestle with people because if they, if they start getting five, six calls and one of them is good, they're gonna be like, "Hey, what's up, man?" Like, I'm paying a lot for per call. I don't want to be answering all these calls for no reason. But once it gets to around like three calls, is every three calls there's one good call? I'm gonna raise the price. Anyways, so it's profitable. That's that's done. So my long-term play is. First, be profitable with paper call. Understand quality score. Google will let you um, pay less if your quality of your website and ads is in, in relation to the keywords you're targeting is good. I'll make a video about that later as well. And um, that's a must, right? You wanna be able to pay as less as possible to get the position one for the ads. Boom. Once you do that, I believe there's no other thing that can beat SEO for paper call in the long way. Now this is a very different kind of SEO and um, that you do for paper called, it's not like client SEO. Not that it's much different in the actual SEO you're gonna be doing, but it's the way you're gonna be going about it, the pressure. With client, at least for me, it was, it was a, a lot of pressure, right? There was um, just like, you know, people paid me and then I have to make it happen, it's not working and just like, what the fuck is going on like that, you know, I'm stressing out. Paper call is, you are making profit already, not very much, let's say, just 50% margin, and you're going about your day. Then you do SEO, very basic, niche websites, rank and rent style for the city that your client is in, and you rank it for the main keywords, right? And while the main keywords are ranking, you go for all the little keywords that you can find through SEMrush, first of all, and then the search terms from paper call. You see, these words that you find from paper call in the search terms that Google Analytics gives you, they were nowhere to be found. They're not in Keyword Planner. They're, there's no tool in the world that exists that can give you those search terms because it's literally what people are typing in before they clicked on your ad. It's pure gold keywords. And you use those keywords and then you rank for those, right? You don't need any other data of how many volume do you have, how many searches they're getting per month. You won't know that, but you will know that real humans have typed it in in the past week, so why don't you go for it? It's gonna be easy as shit to go for those because they're gonna have no competition. Not everybody is gonna find their keywords by doing paper call ads and stuff like that. They're just using keyword tools. So that's that, SEO for the long-term play. This alone, just imagine this. Once you're okay profitable with paper call and then you have ranking your niche sites with, for little keywords, building out pages for in the whole city, um, in, in the niche you're in, then the calls you're gonna be getting through your call software on the Google listings and organic rankings are gonna be free. Everybody who calls, imagine this, from the Google listing of the keywords, like hundreds of keywords that you can overall rank for. Let's say you only rank for like 20 keywords. You're only getting 20 calls a month that's not you're paying for. Just 20 calls a month after everything, right? That's 20 times 50. You get it? See, it's, it's, it's easy as shit. It's not gonna take much work to get to $1,000 um, worth of leads once you do start doing SEO, right? And yeah, I mean, there's nothing else more to say that. But this is sort of long-term. I have to say this because even as now I'm having some trouble ranking with SEO still now um, it took me like almost two months to rank for roofing contractors Bronx to the second page some a ranking that it got me in a week and a half just November last year I made the website week and a half it was ranking like position four in Google like in the first page now it took me over two months to rank in the second page so Things got a lot more slower with SEO, so it, that, that's why it's a long-term plan, but it is, you can't beat it. Out of the other things that I'm about to talk about, SEO is gonna be the best one uh, by far, I think. Unless one of these pulls up really well, which I am getting into now. The third one is gonna be uh, Thumbtack Leads. Everybody knows Thumbtack is one of the you know, biggest websites that does, you know, that's after Home Advisor, but what's really good with them is you can bid when people are searching for your services, right? So let's say my guy is right now a plumber, right? So I make him an account and I put my services. Every time people search for plumbing, you know, they're looking for plumber, um, it's gonna come up there and I'm only going to bid in the inquiries that, that have a phone number. Why? Because it, as soon as you put the bid, you're gonna be able to see their phone number and you can call them and say, hey, do you need somebody? I could send somebody over right now. The bid is usually like three to five dollars, and you are be, gonna be getting about fifty-eight 
anywhere from 40 to 70 dollars right you can't go wrong and the best part is must not forget with thumbtack is that if they do not view the quote right so they get an email about the quote that you just sent right but since you just call them and somebody's coming they might not go into their email and check all the quotes they got right if they don't view it after 24 hours in 24 hours thumbtack reimburses you i will make a video about thumbtack that's all i know for now i haven't tried it yet myself i just made the account i got some inquiries i did some bidding i didn't get a lead yet right so give me a week to work this and see how really it works in and let me waste some money on this and I'll make a video on how that works. The other one is Craigslist ads, which, uh, like I said, um, I didn't get into it yet, but I was doing Craigslist ads just to get clients for SEO before, which works. I got two calls before, but they're always lowballing, right? That's the only downfall about um, Craigslist is that people lowball you. They're looking for a cheap deal, deal on it. Nevertheless, it still calls, right? And Probably the most complicated one in Craigslist is out of this whole list is going to be Craigslist, um, which sounds funny because you know it seems pretty easy if you ever used it. And that reason is because you're going to be having to get new IPs, new like you know accounts to hide my ass. Probably a whole like as if you're like surfing the dark web. That's what you're going to be pretty much have to use to be successful in Craigslist. And even after that, I'm not sure exactly what the method is going to be. So that's going to probably be taking me about like till May to find out, right, we got like 15 days. But I would be happy if I get either of these well and running, right? I'm not trying to do everything at the same time. And lastly, these are, these three things are just on my radar. I'm not gonna be doing them any, you know, heavily because they don't have anything specially directly to calls, right? Thumbtack calls, Craigslist, it can go directly to calls, especially it's free. Craigslist, like, this is a no-brainer. You should be getting into this regardless because it's free. Like, you know, you can fuck around, see what, you have nothing to lose. Um, but Facebook, there is. You could lose a lot of money if you're, you know, fucking around, obviously, with the ads. Reddit, depending on your niche, and then Bing is something in my radar to try out. So these are things just in the radar, but this is where I'm at right now, you know, just breaking even with this. SEO is what I'm starting, you know, to, um, not starting, I, I've been doing SEO before this, obviously, but, you know, what I'm putting into, and you're getting ready in the long-term plan, and then trying to work Craigslist and Thumbtack. So, <sighs> just wanted to lay out an uh, overall plan for you guys there. Um, that's my long-term play for Paper Call, and let's see how it goes, okay? So, stay tuned. Peace.